Okay, guys, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Uh, let's continue with this chapter nine from Hebel Statics. And the problem says that locate the center of gravity of the volume. The material is homogeneous. So we are given this volume, and we are required to find the center of gravity of this volume. And the, this profile of the volume is defined by this equation: y square is equals to two z. So now to find the center of gravity is we can see that uh, this whole volume is this whole solid is symmetrical about the y axis is if if i draw a plane which passes through the y axis is let me draw that plane so if let's say this is the plane which is passing through the y axis is so this uh, whole solid is symmetrical about this plane and similarly if we pass this uh, similar plane uh, about the uh, x axis is let's say that this line is parallel to the x axis is. so if we pass a cutting plane like this so then this whole volume or this whole solid is symmetrical about the uh, plane which is passing through the x axis is. so this means that uh, if if this is symmetrical about the x and y axis is, so the center of gravity will lie on the z axis is. so so it will lie somewhere on this z axis line so to find the uh, z bar we know that somewhere here will be the let's say somewhere here is the uh, center of gravity of this volume and let's say that is z bar so for z bar we can write the formula so z bar will be equal to the integration of z tilde times dv divided by the integration of dv so we have to we have to define a differential volume to evaluate this equation so let's say that i define my uh, differential volume somewhere here which is located at a distance of z from the origin let's say that this is our differential volume and let's say that this is the thickness of the volume so this is the thickness let's say and this thickness will be the change in z the small z right the z since since this uh, along the z axis is the thickness is along the z axis is, so this is dz and let's say that uh, this is the center of this differential volume and that center uh, will be the z tilde that is the centroid of this differential volume let's say that this is z tilde and this differential volume is located at a distance of z from this origin so this means that z tilde is equal to z right so this is equal to z and the radius of this volume is defined by y right since the if if i draw a line from here so then uh, the y coordinate will tell us the radius right so a, if this differential volume moves up along the z axis is, so the radius will be defined by the y, by the y coordinate of this profile right so now we can write that dv the differential volume this differential volume will be equal to the area times dz right so the area of the, this surface area will be pi let me write that the area is pi y square since we know that the area of the circle is pi r square and now the radius of this differential volume is defined by this y coordinate so that is pi y square uh, so y square is 2z so we can write that this is pi into 2z or we can say that this is 2 pi z so this is the area so now we can write that this dv equals to 2 pi z dz so this is that dv so now we have to evaluate this integral and we have to evaluate this integral right so dv is 2 pi z dz and if we integrate this so we need to integrate this from uh, 0 to 2 meters right we we need to add up the volumes of this uh, differential dv's from z equals to 0 until z equals to 2 meters since the height of this solid is 2 meters right so we have to integrate this we have to add 
the differential volumes from z equals to 0 until z equals to 2 meters. So, this is from 0 to 2 meter. Now, if I integrate this, so this is 2, 2 pi is constant and the integration of z with respect to dz is z squared divided by 2 and this is from 0 to 2. So, this 2 will cancel it and we will be left with pi z square and if you put these limits, so this is pi and 2 square minus pi into 0. So, this will become 0 and 2 square is 4. So, this is 4 pi. So, this is the integration of dv and this is the total volume, right. So, we can write that this is 4 pi meter cube. Similarly, if you want to find this integration, so then that is z tilde times dv and as I have told you people that the z tilde is the uh, center of gravity of this differential volume and that center of gravity is located at a distance of z. So, we can say that z tilde is z times dv, dv is again uh, 2 pi z, 2 pi z dz and we need to integrate this and again the integration is with respect to z. So, we have to the, we have to integrate this from z equals to 0 until z equals to 2 meters, right. So, this is we can write 2 pi outside of the integration and this will become z square, z square dz and this is from 0 to 2. So, this is 2 pi z cube when we integrate this. So, this is z cube divided by 3 from 0 to 2 and similarly we can write that this is 2 pi divided by 3 and this is 2 to the power 3 minus uh, if we put 0. So, everything will become 0. So, that is minus 0 and this 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. So, let me write this as multiply by 8 and 8 into 2 is 16. So, this is 16 pi divided by 3. So, this is this integral, right. So, now we can put it in that equation. This, this is the numerator. So, this integration is 4 pi, uh, sorry, this integration is 16 pi divided by 3. So, this is 16 pi divided by 3 and this integration of dv is 4 pi. So, pi will cancel out and we will be left with 16 divided by 3 divided by 4. So, 16 divided by 3 divided by 4 and if we convert it into multiplication, so that will become 1 divided by 4. So, this is 4, 4, 16. So, this is 4 divided by 3 meters. So, the centroid of this volume is located at a distance of 4 divided by 3 meters from this origin. <clears throat> so, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also, like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from heavy statics.